Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some really cute notebooks, but before we get into it, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Best Fiends for sponsoring today's video. Best Fiends is a free puzzle battle game in which you have to match the same colored objects in order to defeat the slugs. You can build an entire team and you can also upgrade the characters. This game is seriously so much fun. Fun. If you connect Best Fiends to Facebook, you'll be able to play against your friends through the new leaderboards. I'm currently on level 103, so try to beat me and let me know what level are you on. This month, you can play the Valentine's Heart Challenge to win rewards in celebration of Valentine's Day. And there will also be a free gift on Valentine's Day, so be sure to play that day. You can download the game for free, I'll have a link for it down below, and if you use my link, you'll be able to get $5 worth of gold and diamonds. By the way guys, I also uploaded a new video over on my second channel, so I'll have a link for that down below if you guys want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started. For this DIY, I have these cutouts right here and I actually made a template for you guys to download so you can go ahead and print it out and cut out the shapes. I'm going to start off by making the pages for the notebook. On a piece of paper, I'm just going to trace this out. By the way, you wanna use a pencil when you do this. I'm using a red pen because it wasn't really showing up on camera. Use a pencil because if you do end up having little like pencil marks, you can at least erase it. Using my pair of scissors, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out. I think I did about 3 or 4 pages for each shape, so that should be about 24 to 32 pages in each notebook. Now that I have all of the pages, I'm going to take a paper clip and just clip those all together. To save you guys time, I did the same exact thing to all 3 of the other notebook designs. If I would have done all of the notebooks on camera, it would have taken forever and this video would have been really really boring, so yeah. Now I'm taking some white glue and I'm just going to put that on top. This is where the pages are going to hold. So you want to put a pretty decent amount of glue, potentially even do two layers of glue. So let that dry completely and the pages should stick together. So as you can see, we have our notebook right here. It looks pretty good. For the cover, I'm using some cardstock and I'm going to trace the shape out. Then I'm going to flip it over, leaving a little bit of a space in between, and then trace out the shape again. I'm shading the gap in between to show you guys. It's probably less than a half centimeter. Using my pair of scissors again, I'm going to cut this out. Now using my ruler, I'm going to bend the cardstock where the two lines on the top are. So now you should be able to fold the cardstock like so. As we did earlier, I did the same exact thing for all three of the other notebooks. This is the fun part, you can start decorating your notebook covers. So the first design that I'm making is a strawberry milk carton. I'm going in with my pencil and I'm going to mark down where I want each thing to be. So where I want the cap, where I want the label, and where I want the pink parts of the packaging to be. I'm not really sure how I'm going to explain all of this, but yeah, now I'm going in with my marker and I'm going to just color this in. You can use paint markers, color pencils, whatever you want. I'm using markers today. Usually I use paint, but today I thought I would change it up. So I made a heart for the cap and then I'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint and just write milk. I really don't know what to say because you guys can see pretty much what I'm doing, how I'm drawing all of this on, but I'm going in with my pencil and making an outline for the cute face. If you don't want to add a face to it, you don't have to. I personally love adding cute faces, so why not? 
And to make this one extra cute, I'm going to add on some lashes. For the details inside the eyes, I'm using some white acrylic paint, but I'm pretty sure you could also use whiteout for this. For the next design, I'm making a super adorable cookie. So for this, I'm using a medium brown color and I'm just going to color this all in with it. So I colored this in kind of patchy on purpose so that it would look more of a cookie like. By the way, I think I forgot to mention this, but I'm using Copic markers for this. You don't really have to use Copic. You could use color pencils, any other kind of markers. So I drew on the face and now I'm going in with a brown marker and I'm making these random chocolate chip like shapes. They do not have to be perfect. You can make them big, small, however you like. This is hands down the easiest design to make out of all of them. It probably took me 5-10 minutes. It actually took me longer to find the cap for this brown marker because I threw it on the floor and I was not able to find it. So yeah, this is the easiest design and I think it's probably one of my favorites. For the next design, I'm making a toast. So I'm going in with a beige color and I'm going to just fill that all in. I'm outlining the edges with a darker brown. Now you can add on the cute face. So I made a mustache face. I already outlined it so that I would save you guys some time. And I'm going in with black and just filling it all in. I lost the footage when I was filling in the mustache. I think I didn't play the record button because my camera kind of stopped in between. I don't really know. Then I'm going in, I'm adding in the blush and the details for the eyes. The final notebook cover is the Nutella one. So I'm going in with my pencil and I'm marking down where I want the label to be. Next I'm going in with a brown marker and I'm going to fill it in. I'm outlining the label and the lid. So I wrote Nutella using my pencil and now I'm going over it using some black and red. To finish off the cover, I'm going to add in a cute face. So here we have all of the notebook covers. I think they all look really cute. Now is the time to turn these into actual notebooks. So I have the pages that we made earlier and I'm going to just place this inside of the notebook, see the placement, and once I'm happy with it, I'm going to take some hot glue and just glue this in place. I quickly wanted to mention that the markers did bleed through the paper. So what I did is I took a piece of paper, cut it out and glued it at the back. That just made it look a hundred times neater. Again, I went in and I glued in the pages for all of the notebooks. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in a comment down below which notebook was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.